Hello and welcome back to another week's vlog. This is Monday and um, I'm going to start this week off with telling y'all about a couple of my deals that I have for my channel. One of them I'm working on to do. The other one I actually have done time y'all see this vlog y'all will have already seen it because it will go up before this vlog does but let me tell you about the first one first so I'm working on trying to get a collab together with two or three other people to hopefully help my channel to grow a little Plus, everyone else that's in the collab, it will help their channel to grow too. So, what I want, that's all I'm going to tell you about it. It would be like a collab. If you don't know what a collab is, you work together with other YouTubers that have similar video channels, kind of like yours. And I have all different kinds of things on mine. So, I watch all different other kinds of of videos too. I even watch videos that's about things that I have that I don't do on my channel but that interest me but even things that I don't do but I'm interested enough to watch it and a lot of y'all may be that way too. So I would be you know doing this collab that means I would make a video they all would make a video I'll put my video up. I'll have all of their links in my description with their videos. Our videos is kind of going to be similar about the same thing, kind of, you know. I mean, not exactly alike, but about the same thing. And what y'all would supposed to do is after you've watched mine, you go in the description below and you click on their links and watch all of theirs too. That would help them out as well as me. So, I am asking y'all, if I do that, will y'all be interested in that? Will y'all participate? Will you go down and click on the links and check the others out? I'd appreciate it so much if you would, but I'd like for you to let me know in the comments below if you would do that, if you would participate, if a collab like that would interest you on my channel. Okay, that's the first one. Now, for the second one. I've already made it. Put it this way. I have not literally and truly at this point in time already made the video. But I will be making it soon and it will be going up before this whole week's vlog is done and put up this weekend on Friday or Saturday. So, that being How did y'all enjoy my tea time? Do you see the video I did? That sounds weird to say that, Dan, I have not really made it yet. <laughs> but I'm planning on it. So that is my second new video. So what I will be doing, if I can, sometimes I may not be able. Y'all know my health situations, and if I'm feeling real bad or hurting real bad, I am not going to be able. So just bear with me on that and know I'm going to try to do it most all Tuesday. But if I have a bad day where I can't, you may not see that video. Of course, I will let you know in my long vlog video why I didn't put one up that week. But I'm going to try to mostly do that. It will be tea time. I will be sitting. I will be having a cup of tea with y'all and I will be just chatting with y'all. And y'all like this first one? Do you like it enough that you hope I continue doing it all the time? Will you always watch my tea time videos? Will you leave me comments in my tea time videos comments below? And all that kind, kind of good blushy stuff as I like to say. <laughs> so I will still do my one vlog a week all week long videoing 
recording it uh, either by Friday or Saturday, sometimes Sunday. But the Tea Time Tuesday video will go up every Tuesday. So in reality, you'll actually be getting two videos for me in a week. What do y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to give me any ideals for things to talk about, Anything related to tea time, any tea time stories y'all have, um, any tea time games that you'd be willing to talk about or any play or whatever, I don't know, just anything like that. Or any topics you would just like for me to talk about. Up front, I am not going to talk about politics, it's too much over my head, I don't even understand it. So that's out. Uh, if you're curious and want to know about my religion, I'll tell you about my religion. But just know that I'm not trying to push my religion off on you. And in return, I don't want y'all pushing y'all's religion off on me. I think that's the only two topics that I will not talk about. I'm not going to talk private personal stuff. I'm not going to talk dirty stuff. I don't do that. So, Okay. But any topics y'all would like other than that like to hear me talk about on Tea Time videos, Tea Time Tuesday videos, let me know in the comments below and I would appreciate it. Alright guys. So that's all I have. Oh, I got a package in today. I won't do it right now, but it'll be another clip that I'll add to this. So, be looking forward to that next. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, we are back. We are opening the package up. Actually, I already opened it. Just cut it open, but I haven't looked in it. It's a box like this. Okay, at first I thought maybe it was from Defy again. But it's not from Defy. It says Amazon Fulfillment Services. Uh, and then it's got my name. It don't give me nothing as to what it is. But I have a feeling... It does have my name on it, so it's not Hubby's. I have a feeling I know what it is. So, but it could be, so, <laughs> it's not what I thought I had a feeling for. I should have looked in it before I did this. Well, they don't watch. That is awfully small. Okay, what this is, this is our Gracie girl's present, one of the presents we ordered her for her birthday. Her birthday is May the 20th. And her birthday party thing this year, she'll be five years old, her birthday party thing this year is lava. She loves to play that game, the floor is lava, and trying to stay off of it so you don't get in the hot lava and burn up, you know. She, there's a TV show, I think, that she watches about it. And there's all kind of stuff lava-wise uh, that she can do. And Katie's planning her a lava party. And so... Katie said that she wanted a lava lamp. And I used to have a lava lamp back in the day. This is making me want another one. <laughs> so, we ordered her a lava lamp. And this is it. It's a mini one. And this one is red because lava is red, even though pink is her favorite color. But this one has like a volcano. Okay. So, she's going to love this. It runs on batteries. So, we got to get her some batteries and wrap with it. Uh, so this is what this is. I thought I had ordered something and I was thinking that might be it So it wasn't it was this So that's fine. They don't watch my videos. They won't see this So that's what that was. Sorry y'all, but I do have I've ordered something a package is coming in on its way I will be opening that with y'all and sharing with y'all all about what that is And everything and that's what I had thought this was but anyway 
Okay, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Hang tight till the next one because it's the same thing I did. Okay, hello again, everybody. This is Tuesday, and this is just in case that I wasn't close enough to the camera for y'all to see my teapots good enough yesterday. So this is the little bitty one that is not made to drink out of. Um, so it's just for decoration. So you have the little bitty teapot. And see my hand, how little it is. A lid for it then you have this one here and I'm not sure if this is called a sugar bowl or a creamer or what and I think this would be what you would put milk in to pour into your tea um, but I'm not sure if it would maybe be called a creamer because think they some kind of liquidy creamy stuff that you could pour into your tea and then it has two little cups and the little saucers and then this is like the bigger saucer which is like a tray for it to all sit on so that's that one and then this is the other one. This is the one that I was using. So this is its lid. And that's the top of it. And the spout looks like that. And that's the handle. And then this is the pitcher. So see, it came from Japan. I guess that's Chinese writing. And I know... There's Chinese people, there's Japan people, or Japanese, I think they're called. So I guess there's two different places, like there might be, uh, I don't know all the places in the world, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but I, there's Chinese, China, and then there's Japan, right? That's two different p places. So I really don't know which one this is from. Maybe some of y'all do, but this is, so that's the writing right there. And I don't know, I don't think this is ducks, but I don't know if it's geese, swan, pelicans, or what they are, you know. And then this is like, I guess, a tree. It looks like a spiky tree, you know, with sharp spikes on it. And then, is that a bird? I can't really tell. Yeah, I think that's a bird. It kind of looks funny like its head is turned backwards or something. But then the little cups that don't have handles, it's supposed to be like a smaller version of, of that, I guess. But of course, because they're so little, see, it's not showing much of the tree. And that bird there, but it don't have the water with the pelicans or whatever they are. It don't have the words. And they're all, they all look the same. And there's six of them. So that's that. And, uh, so I just wanted to give y'all an up-close look of that. I hope y'all enjoyed the tea time the other day. I did. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, just wanted to show, show y'all. I think I showed y'all before, before it was finished. But this is the update. It is finished. This was Gracie and Granny's art we did together. So, that's Gracie in yellow. I did the end mark in green, Granny in red. Gracie did the yellow and green banana. I did the red apple, and yeah, I know it don't really, it's not really shaped very good like an apple. That's my little stem. <laughs> and so that's our art together. Now, I gotta figure out how to hang it up. I mean, just like this, it don't have no way unless I glue some kind of ribbon on the back to hang it up with. Or maybe I want to put it in a frame. I don't know. Just have to wait and see. 
Maybe I want to frame it out in some ribbon or something. I don't know. We'll see about that. Okay. Uh, I think Audie, and Audie, forgive me for forgetting, but I think it was you. Uh, it may have been someone else. If it was someone else and I'm saying it was Audie, I'm sorry, too, that I got the person wrong. But, y'all, someone asked me about the tickler system to show you. I'm getting myself fixed, y'all. Hang on. Y'all seeing my pretty flower on my table. <laughs> um, the tickler system that I'm doing for my mail center to help keep up with stuff. I had never heard of this before. So, I'm working on it, but I got a long ways to go. All right. I have all these file folders here, okay? I've got four done. And what I did, I'm decorating them is what I'm doing. You don't have to. You could leave them plain. Matter of fact, the video I seen, the lady that was talking about it, hers was plain. But she had even said that you could decorate it if you wanted to. So I wanted to. And I wanted, what I really wanted to do was go to the store and buy the pretty decorated pattern and where it was shiny and glossy feeling. See, just this, to me, I call that a dry feel. And I don't like that. You know, the, the folders that has pretty patterns at the stores... And, you know, it's shiny and glossy, so it has a different feel. The only thing is they're not like this. They don't have the tabs. And when you open them up, they have the pockets here, you know, and here. So that's like for school kids to, for, to go to school with. But I suppose you could use those. I don't know. But anyway... These are the kind that lady showed. And, you know, it's good reason you use the tabs. And that's what I wanted was the tabs. So I'm trying to decorate mine. But I wanted mine, like I said, glossy. So instead of using paper, I am using things like this is duct tape, okay, that I have put on this one. All right, but I've already ran out of duct tape. So that's what this one, and the inside, I just folded it over enough to be pretty a little bit. And then when you open it up, you can see I folded it over on there. The inside don't matter, but just where you could see it here. But then I have my label, and it says day one. All right, here's the next one. This is where... I started running out of duct tape. So I was using this one, this duct tape first. And I ran out and had to add this to it at the top. So I only had a little bit at the bottom here and most of that back here. And then this is day two. And that's what the inside of that one looks like. Okay, now these, these are duct tape. I ran out of duct tape totally. So, on these, this here is contact paper that you put in your kitchen drawers, you know, so it has a sticky back. So, I've got, I had a whole roll of this, but I know it don't, I don't have enough of it to be able to do all of them as big a stack as that is. But, I did this, okay, front and back. And when you open it up, this is what the inside of this one looks like. Like I said, the inside doesn't matter. But I've got my label here, and this label says January. All right, I did this one, and this label says February. Okay, but it's covered front and back. All right, so what you do, that's, this is the only ones I have done. I've got all these to decorate, but... You have all of your months in the back, okay, in order, okay? So that's going to represent that. If I could, I wonder, let me scoot this out. Y'all give me a minute, and I'm going to stand that back there. Then you would have 
your days in front of it. Uh, so you have your tabs on this side for your days. And then you have your tabs on this side for your months. And actually the way she had hers, she just had it wrote little right at the top where you could see everything. Well, you can see this one. You can see this one. But only when this is out can you see that one. But I mean with them all together, you could see them. Now on that one, you can when that's pulled back. Um, but she says it's like, so like on the day of January the 1st, you would have them like this. But what you do is when you have your mail or anything that comes in that you're going to have to, at some point in time later in the future, take care of. Like, let's say if you're in December, okay, things come in you're going to need to take care of in January. You open up your January folder and you put everything in it. If you get something for February, you put everything for February in that one. You don't write the year on it because you use this system year after year after year. All right. So then when you get into January, okay, so all your numbers, you're going to start, you know, it's January the 1st. So you look in January the 1st, everything you have, or what you do is you look into, you get your month one, open it up, take everything out. If there's dates on it, different dates for that month, what you do, you put them like if there's something you got to do day one, put it there. Day two, if there's something you got to do then, you put it in that one, so on and so on. So then when that day comes, you open that day's folder and you take everything out for that day and take care of it. If it's a bill, pay it. You know, whatever it may be. Any kind of paperwork. Any kind of paperwork. Um, even like if you have a doctor's appointment and you've got it in there. Uh, maybe you have, maybe y'all going on vacation and you had set it, you know, for to do a certain thing on that day. You could put that in there and do that. All right, then when you're through with everything for that day, you put it behind all the other numbers because then the next day is going to be day two. Well, when you've went through all the days for January, you put January behind and you've got February and then your numbers is back in order again for you to go with February. And so on and so on like that. And that's how you do the tickler system. I hope I explained it good enough and showed y'all good enough that you understand. Like I said, I think it was Audie that asked me that. Audie, let me know if it was and let me know if you understand. If you don't, I can try to do a little bit better of an explanation than this if you need me to. So just let me know. Excuse me, sorry. I just ate. And if it wasn't you, Audie, and it was somebody else, and y'all see this, please let me know in the comments below and let me know if you understand it or if you need me to try to explain it better again. All right, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Hello, and welcome back again. Okay. Remember I said I was getting a package. Well, I got it today. It came in. I've done opened. I've cut it open. So this is what it is, this is what it says. Your day just got better. It works. So my great niece, Courtney, uh, a while back posted, I think on Facebook, if I'm not mistaken, something about helping one of her friends. She sells this and was trying to help her get orders. Um, I can't remember just how that went. I don't know if there was a giveaway, might have been something. I don't know. I can't remember just how that went. So I had asked Courtney about it, and then she, uh, told the girl that sells it, her friend, about me, and gave her my number, and the girl messaged me. 
or didn't give her my number, gave her my Facebook page or something. Anyway, she messaged me on Messenger about it. And so I talked with her, I asked her questions about it, about how it worked and everything, and how much it cost, and I talked to my husband. And then I had to wait a while, I asked the, the girl if she, I'm saying girl because she's a young girl compared to me, but um, I asked her if I could wait and ask my doctor about taking it, you know, with all the problems I have and the medicines I take. So I had to wait till I could get to the doctor and do that. But I showed my doctor the website. She looked at it. She said it would be fine to take this with all my medicines. So then I told my husband again. And then, of course, we had to wait till, you know, we could order it. So then I got back in touch with the girl and told her I was ready to order some. So I did, and it's in. And what it is, it's uh, to help you lose weight. I thought it was called vitamins, and it still yet may be, but she says it helps you lose weight. Now, I'm not going to know all the details about it. So what y'all want to do is if y'all want to know more than what I can give y'all is go check out the website. And I'm not sure about the website, but it's gummies. And you do two a day at the same time every day, she said. So this is what it shows, what it looks like. It works. Slimming gummies. It says with blood, orange, and apple cider vinegar. Dietary supplement. There's 60 gummies in here. And it's got a plastic on it. But you can see in there what they look like. And you're supposed to take two every day at the same time. And, oh, here is the backside, the supplement facts. There's ten, there are 10 calories. The total car... Cor How do you say that word? <laughs> Carbohydrates. It's 4G. And then on over under what it says is saying percent DV. I don't know what that means. But for the total carbohydrates, is 1%. The dietary fiber, fiber is 3G, 11%. The total sugars is 1G, no percent. Includes 0G added sugars, 0%. Apple cider vinegar is 500MG. Moracil, whatever, there's a word there I can't pronounce. Blood orange fruit extract is 200 mg. And then the percent daily values, DV, like I said, whatever that means, that's in parentheses, are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Daily value, oh, DV is daily value, I guess, not established. Other ingredients is at the bottom, so that's all of that. I'll hold it here for a minute, just in case you would like to, I don't know if y'all can see it, I don't know if I need to back up or get real close, it kind of is blurry, isn't it, so it may not let y'all read it, I'm not sure, looks like that would be too far away for y'all to see it to me, I'm up close is blurry. So I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, I'm assuming it works. It's from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Okay, www.itworks.com. Contact us. Slash contact us. I don't know if like that's the exact website. This is my packing list. Um... And everything and how much it costed so just I guess search for it works and you should be able to find it um, but I'm gonna give this a try maybe I can lose a little weight 
get in a little bit more better shape. She also said that it has been known to help with high blood pressure, diabetes, thyroid, and that's all the things I got wrong with me that I take medicine for. So I'm hoping it will help me there too. So I'm going to give this a try. They look, I love gummies, and it looks like, from the color of them, it looks like they would be good. And I can't wait to give them a try. I'm kind of going to, I mean, I will, I'll update y'all after I start taking these. I'm going to do it every morning when I wake up with all my other medicines. And, excuse me. So, I'll let you know after I've tried it, what I think of the taste of it, and then I'll kind of update y'all on, I don't know really how much I weigh the last time I went to the doctor, which was kind of recent. I think I was 2, 212, something like that. So, and I don't have no scales here to weigh on. I wish I did. But as I start, I'll let you know, you know, I'll keep you updated on it. Is it letting me lose weight? Is it helping me? Am I feeling better? Uh, you know, is it helping me with that stuff, my, the problems I have, or whatever? I'll keep y'all updated on it and let you know about all that. So, that was what I wanted to share with y'all about this. Alrighty. That's all I have for you for right now. <laughs> So I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye. Okay, y'all. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I don't know where my mind has been. I guess it's just been on all this other stuff that I've been doing. I'm sorry. But I realize I have forgotten to mention something to tell y'all about and to ask y'all about and to say to y'all. Sorry, I forgot. Please forgive me. So today's Wednesday, and I still have not said Happy Mother's Day, y'all. And I know it's three days or more past. It was Sunday this past Sunday. But happy late Mother's Day. I hope all of you had a good Mother's Day and that are mothers and enjoyed yourself. All you children, I hope y'all enjoyed your day with your mothers. Okay. Um, tell me in the comments below what y'all did for Mother's Day. Okay? Now, this is what I done for my mother for Mother's Day. Um, she lives with my sister two hours away from me. I hardly ever get to see her. So, I went and spent the day with her. Friday Mother's Day on Sunday, and that was my Mother's Day gift to my mama this year, was just going and visiting her and spending the day with her. Um, we were going to take, it was me and both my daughters, Elizabeth and Katie, and then of course Katie had Gracie, her daughter, my precious granddaughter, with her. So we all went and visited mama. We was going to take her out to but Mama is getting on up there, and she just has all these things wrong with her, and she just feels bad and hurts all the time, bless her heart. So she's got to the stage in her life where she don't feel like getting dressed and getting out and trying to go anywhere and do anything. Like, well, she ain't shopped in a while, but she used to try to get out and go eat, you know, sometimes. But she don't even feel like doing that. And now she does go to her doctor's when she has to, but, uh, you know, that's a have-to kind of thing. And if she didn't have to do that, she probably wouldn't do that. I mean, she just don't feel like it. I understand. I mean, I'm not nowhere near, you know, as bad off as she is with all the problems. But I do have problems, and I do hurt and ache. And I'm a homebody anyway and just love to stay home most of the time. So I do understand. All right. Um, so she didn't feel like going out. 
the girls went and picked us up some food and brought it there to my sister's house, and we all just ate there together at the house. And I just, you know, sat and visited, and we talked, and then, of course, Gracie Girl was there, and she was playing around, and she was doing things and saying things that was cute, that they loved, that they thought was funny, and making them laugh, and so we was all having a good time with that. So we enjoyed ourselves. That was Friday. And then, you know, Saturday and then Sunday is Mother's Day. So that's what I did for my mother's Mother's Day. So y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all did for y'all's mothers on Mother's Day. Okay. Now for me, my Mother's Day, um, we got up and got ready and went to Sunday school. And then after Sunday school, we all went out to eat. So I thought hubby and kind of like my two girls, Elizabeth and Katie, was going to, that's the way it sounded, was going to kind of like go in together and um, buy my meal for me for my Mother's Day gift from all of them. Uh, they took me out to Chinese restaurant. so she owes me too. <laughs> but no, we had a good time, so that's what we they did for me on Mother's Day, and that's what we did. So, I wanted to come on and tell y'all about that, and I hope y'all are enjoying this week's video. I hope y'all enjoyed my first Tea Time Tuesday video, and I will be doing another one of those next week, and the next wait to get all a lot more different teas to use. I can't wait to start incorporating some tea sandwiches and cookies and scones and, and pastries and whatnot in there with it. And oh, so good. And yes, like Patty, I would also like to get one of those three tier things. That's what it was. Okay, I just remembered. The <laughs> I gotta write this down before I forget right now. <laughs> anyway, I want to get one of those three-tiered things that holds your stuff. Like Patty said she wanted to get. That reminded me. Uh, I had thought the other day to tell y'all about something next Tuesday tea-related at my Tea Time Tuesday. And um, 
so I was making notes and I was coming up with other stuff and so I was writing my notes down here I have four things so far and I just kept thinking it niggling me in the back of my mind it was something else I thought something else I know there was and I cannot remember what it was and I even said Lord please bring it back to me and let me remember thank you Jesus for bringing it back to me and letting me remember he just did when I said the three tier thing so now I know what it was so I'm putting it down it's number five on my list to tell y'all about next week at tea time Tuesday. <laughs> Y'all give me a minute. Let me write this down so I don't forget. <laughs> um, y'all sorry I had to get that down so I wouldn't forget so I've got some stuff to talk about next week on that one too I'm excited I'm excited so I hope y'all are enjoying it okay so um, that's all I have so just let me know in the comments below what y'all did for Mother's Day and what y'all did for your uh, kid, your mom's Mother's Day kids got y'all or they took y'all out to eat why not let me know all about it and i'm so sorry again for forgetting i should have said that first in the first clip for this week's video sorry so happy late ha mother's day <laughs> now let's see this is may june the next uh the next mother's day is next year of course <laughs> i think what i was gonna say the next holiday is um father's day Alright. Okay guys, I thought I would show y'all what I am eating. Since I got those new pills that I'm trying, I want to see if I can lose some weight. So, I am not really going to call myself going on a diet. It's not going to be strict. It's it's my own little diet in my own head that I feel like is good and healthy. So, uh, the way I normally eat, no matter what time of the day I get up, and y'all know me, I stay up late and I sleep late, but I always have a breakfast meal, and then I'll have a lunch meal. Then sometimes I eat between lunch and supper. Then when hubby comes home, I eat supper, and then because I'm up late, He's done gone to bed. I get hungry again, and I eat another meal. That's five meals a day, every day. But I only eat very little when I do eat a meal. And it's kind of like a short amount of time between each one that I go back and eat again, you know, since I sleep late and stay up late. Well, anyway, and I don't eat, I eat very little meat. Now, Sandwich meats, like turkey and roast beef on sandwiches. But I have my bread, and I love mayonnaise, and I use a lot of mayonnaise. So I do that. If we cook a meal and cook some kind of eat meat, sometimes I don't eat it at all. If I do eat it, it's like very little bit. And then I just eat the rest of it. Um, now, I love, you know, I love the boiled shrimp. I had some of that last night for supper. I love crawfish. I love my oysters, my fried oysters, and my smoked oysters now. I've recently found out. And I have, even though I don't have a tooth in my head, I love saying that. Uh, <laughs> I have a very big, bad, I have the biggest sweet tooth in that anybody in the whole wide world could ever have. I feel like anyway. And so I love my sweets and I have to have my sweets and my candy. So I do that quite a bit. And I shouldn't. So this is what I'm thinking and what I'm going to try. I'm going by... A couple of diets that I used to do back in my younger days. Uh, so I'm going by some foods that they used, like some wieners. Now this is a grilled wiener. And some eggs and cottage cheese and yogurt. And um, 
then I've watched videos on YouTube of people that are dieting and the types of foods they eat. So I'm going by those too. So I'm going to take my own little, you know, thoughts about healthy food and start, I'm going to be eating different, that's for sure. I'm going to try to cut out so much bread, so much mayonnaise, and so much um, sweets, okay? Now, I'm not saying I'm going to cut it all out, because I do have the big sweet tooth. So sometimes I get to craving it so bad and I can't handle it and I have to have something. So I'm not going to really strict to myself on that. I will eat a little to satisfy my craving, but I'm going to try not to do as much as I usually do. And I'm going to try to go some days without any of that. So that's what I'm doing. So right now, this is what I'm eating. Uh, this is my first meal of the day, and I'm eating this grilled wiener, a boiled egg. I'm going to put a little salt on it, but I'm going to try not to put too much. I'm going to eat some cottage cheese and some yogurt. And this is Greek vanilla yogurt, and it's it has a sweet taste. It may not be considered healthy, but it's still yogurt, so in my mind, it is still somewhat healthy. And it is, I love this yogurt. I, I, since I've found out about this yogurt, I will not eat any other yogurt but Greek vanilla. It is the best. Okay, y'all. So, what I want to do is try to start sharing with y'all if I can. I may not can do all, but I will do my best to share with y'all the meals that I am eating now to help go along with these uh, gummies that are supposed to slim me, the slimming gummies. It's supposed to help slim me down, and I am going to try to start uh, getting out and walking more. So, I'll be sharing that with y'all, too, on videos. All right, guys. See y'all in the next one. Okay, hello, everybody. I am fixing to go on a walk. Just now leaving my house. That's my house right there. So we're going to get over, and I don't know if you can hear me because, of course, I am got it down, and I'm talking low, and it was kind of away from me because that's the way I do to keep that sound off. And when I talk low, then y'all can't hear me. I need to be, like, right up at it talking. And my neighbors that are out with their dog. <sighs> why, 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 why? So I'm going for a walk. And last night... Um, me and hubby went to Elizabeth's house. Katie and Gracie came there. Marcus was working and couldn't come. And, uh, they had fish. They fried fish. I don't eat fish. Albert got me a little thing of shrimp, and he boiled me some shrimp. So I got to eat me some boiled shrimp. And that was good. And, uh, I think that's a motorcycle. I don't know if y'all hear that or not. You probably do. Some neighbor over here has a motorcycle. He passes by our house a lot. But anyway, after we got through eating at Elizabeth's last night and was coming home, Albert comes through these back roadways. I don't really know these back roadways very well myself. So, when I'm by myself, I don't do it. But anyway, we passed a place. Now, I didn't see it, but he said he seen a sign that said a garage sale. So, I'm going to go. It's like right over here. Distance enough that I, I can walk it. So, and yeah, I'm walking. And I'm kind of walking fast, not at a leisurely pace. A leisurely pace for me would be like this. And then, too, because I'm talking to y'all, I get out of breath, and because I'm so out of shape. <laughs> That's why I need to get out and walk more. But I'm going to go over here and see if... Now, it's late. They may have done closed it for today. But maybe I can at least see the sign and read it. It might be out tomorrow, too. And I know when I walk, I do in a wobble. 
and I'm holding the camera and I move it that way and that probably makes y'all dizzy but I don't know I'm not good at holding the camera firm and still I think the motorcycles come out <laughs> whoa hello to you too how are you how are you today how are you today <laughs> he's just saying hello to us <laughs> glad he's in a fence <laughs> All right, let's see if we see a garage sale down here or not. I'm not even sure. Like I said, I didn't see the house. I didn't see anything set out. It was dark, and I wasn't really looking. And uh, I didn't see the sign, but hubby's seen the sign. I don't see anything down this way, but it was down this road a ways. So let's walk down just a little bit and see what we can find. Uh, in other words, I'm not going to keep this on the whole walk, mainly because I'm out of breath and don't know what else to tell y'all right now. So let me walk, and if I find it, uh, I'll cut y'all on and show you if there's anything to show you. A sign. I think I see a sign down there. Well, let me go for now, and I'll come back on to another one. Okay, y'all, I'm on my way back. It's not there. They none took it down. Actually, no, I'm wrong. They ain't took it down. They ain't even had it today. It wasn't for today at all. Unless they just changed the writing on the sign for some reason. There is a sign. Let's see. I don't know. There's cars coming. Anyway, it's right back there. But there is a sign, but it says Saturday, May the 15th, that's tomorrow, but it says it's from 9 a.m. to uh, 12 noon. Mm, that's going to be kind of hard for me, but if I really want to come, I can really try to make myself, if I feel, if I ain't feeling too bad and turn to bed, I can really make myself get up early enough to hurry up and get around and come down here, I guess. To tomorrow, to tomorrow, to tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so I just thought I'd update you on that. Let you know about that. So, I'm out of breath. I'm going to walk home. And uh, I will uh, see y'all in the next one. Okay, guys. I ran to Family Dollar uh, right up the road by me. And so I've got a little haul here. I got four bags of stuff, but I'm going to do it quickly so I can put up the stuff and get me some lunch. I'm starving. Okay, so I got some sponges. Now, these are not for cleaning or not for washing dishes. These are for crafts. I've seen a cute little adorable craft that you use sponges for to make some cute little stuff and just wait till y'all see it. It's gonna be so adorable. So I got those. Now this here, uh, I'm fixing to sneeze. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm short, my husband's tall. He does most of the cooking. I've been trying to cook a little more lately, but I have a hard time reaching the seasonings. He keeps them in the top cabinet, top counter, and I'm fine. Well, not the very top, I don't think. I think it's like the middle one. I'm fine with that, and if he would keep them close to the edge, then I could reach them. But he don't keep them close to the edge. He keeps pushing them back, and... I can't reach them, and if he's here, I have to call him to come get them. If he ain't here, I have to try to find something to reach up there and grab it and knock it down. Anyway, I'm getting tired of that. Don't know if this will help, but I got this for our seasonings to see if it would help out a little bit with that. Okay, so let's push this over. Now, I also got, for crafting, some more contact paper. I've been putting contact paper on my file folders for my tickler system. And I have also put wrapping paper on it and duct tape. And the easiest one is contact paper that is, has a sticky back. So 
I got some marble looking. That's pretty. I like marble. Got that for that. All right, this here, I'm going to make Gracie Girl something for her um, birthday. I've seen a video of it, and I'm going to give it a try. And you need some little bitty uh, rubber bands. So I got this for that. Plus, I got her some other little things. Um, so it's right here. Oh, the way, by the way, her, I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm getting her a little mini lava lamp. We done got it, actually. It done come in. I can't remember if I showed it to y'all or not. I'll have to try to remember to show that to y'all before we wrap it up. But I got her some little, uh, I mean, a little packet of, it says, my own paper doll. Now, I thought she would like this. I tried to find nothing. I hope no one takes this the wrong way. But God just so happened to make me and my family white. He made some people black. That's fine. But I just thought since, you know, we were right, white, Gracie might would rather have the little white one. But she didn't. There was no, I mean, there was no white there, only black. And I really wanted to get her a paper doll. So I went ahead and got her one. So, and then I found a cute little car. It has some pink and purple on it, which is both mine and her favorite colors. And then she loves Poppy. So this is Poppy, and this is one of the characters. And then I got her the actual Poppy one. So there's Poppy. So that's that. All right. I seen another video of a craft using some placemats. So I got me a couple of placemats for that. I got a red and a brown. All right, then we're in dire need of bathroom hand towels and rags and kitchen hand towels and rags. I really don't know which this is, but I'm gonna be using these in my bathroom. This may be kitchen, but I'm going to use these in my bathroom. And then I got another pack of rags like this. We are in dire need of stuff like that. Okay. Then I got me a pack of sandwich meat turkey. This is on my uh, diet list that I can eat. I had some olives, but I ran out, so I got me another jar of olives, and I got me a little thing of sour cream. This is all on my diet that I can eat. I'm fixing to fix me my little salad that I eat with that. Now, this is not, I didn't get this. Albert brought that in the last night, or today, rather, from his shop. It's hot dog buns and potato chips, which is not healthy. <laughs> okay. So, there's my haul. I'll let y'all go, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, y'all, this is my lunch. Now, granted, it's 6 o'clock in the evening, but hubby's still at work, and he won't be in too much later. So, this is the same day. It's Friday that I did the clip showing y'all the other meal with the wiener and cottage cheese and yogurt and egg. So, this here, I'm calling this my little salad. What it is, it's cottage cheese. It's olives, and I have pinched up three slices of roasted turkey uh, sandwich meat. And then I sprinkled a little bit of cheddar cheese in there, and that's all that's in there. Cottage cheese, olives, turkey slices, and a little bit of shredded cheese. And I'm calling this my salad, and this is what I consider healthy. And I'm going to eat this as my lunch, and we'll have my peach mango water. I hadn't fixed it yet. And by the way, something I meant to say to y'all when I was telling y'all about that at my other meal, my first meal, which was I considered my breakfast, and this is my lunch. Uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to be really strict on myself. So... That means, as y'all well know, I'm now doing Tuesday's tea time, right? Uh, so at tea time, I'm going to have some tea time foods, uh, scones, little cakes, sweets, in other words. Like I said, I'm not strict. I'm just trying not to do as much. Trying to skip days without having any sweets. When I do have sweets, I'm trying to keep it very minimal. You know, the least I can. 
And then on tea time, I would definitely, I'm going to say, be spur splurging on that. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. I'm taking the linen gummies. And I'm just trying to do, it is a different lifestyle from the way I eat and live and do. And I have always heard if you change the way you do, yes, there's going to be some changes. So, no matter what. So, I'm just going to give this a try and see how it goes. Alright, guys. This is going to be one long vlog this week. <laughs> Alright. See y'all in the next one. Hello, everybody. This is a quick sign-off of this vlog. This is actually Saturday. And I have done, done a couple of clips today. I've made them. But I will not put them in this one because as you see, this one is way too long. <laughs> so I will put them in next week's vlog. They will be the beginning of next week's vlog. But I just wanted to come on and say bye to y'all for this week. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. I am enjoying making these videos and vlogs like this. I'm going to continue and I am really enjoying the Tea Time Tuesday videos and I hope y'all are too. I cannot wait for next Tuesday. I've already had have, have it planned out, what tea set I'm going to use, where I'm going to set up at, how I'm going to set it up, what all I'm going to have and use, and even my notes wrote down about everything I'm going to talk about. I'm excited. I can't wait. Hope y'all are too. Alright guys, that's it for this week. I will say bye, and I will let y'all go and leave y'all alone from this long video. <laughs> and hopefully, not scare y'all, so hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye until then. <laughs>